Morning, everyone. Good Daily morning. message. We have everybody around the table. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, Sarah Lee. And hello, Mommy. Hello. Mommy's on the other side. I can't see her. Right. <laughs> She's my bra. Anyway, let us move on. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Today is Tuesday. What is the date today? It is the 31st, 31st of March today. And we are in the fifth week of Lent. And today's passage is based on John 8, 21 to 30. And it is talking about Jesus warns of coming judgment. Wow. Okay. Let us go into our time of reflection. O oh Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. Hide not your face from me on the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me in the day when I call. Answer me speedily. And that is from Psalm 102, verse 2 and 3. May we do the reading. Jesus warns of coming judgment. Once more, Jesus said to them, I am going away and you will look for me and you will die in your sin. Where can, where I go, you cannot come. This made the Jews, the Jews ask, will he kill himself? Is that why he says, where I go, you cannot come? But he continued, You are from below, I am from above. You are of this world, I am not of this world. I told you that you would die in your sins. If you do not believe that I am the one I claim to be, you will indeed die in your sins. Who are you, they asked. Just what I have been claiming all along, Jesus replied. I have much to say in judgment of you. But he who sent me is reliable. And what I have heard from him, I tell the world. They do not understand that he was telling them about his father. So Jesus said, when you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am the one I claim to be, and that I do nothing on my own, but speak just what the Father has taught me. The one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, for I always do what pleases him. Wow, what a passage. Should we meditate on that? In the gospel passage, Jesus tries, to con Jesus tries convincing the religious leaders that he is sent from God. He tells them they will die in their sins unless they come to believe in him. Jesus points to the connection between the bronze snake being lifted up in the book of Numbers and the way he will soon be lifted up on the cross. God used the hated symbol of Roman oppression, the cross, and turned it into a means of healing and salvation. Look at the cross in a new way. As God's people looked at the snake in the desert, face your sin. And look for healing. Gaze at the cross and remember the sins of injustice, cruelty and violence. Endemic in our world. But have faith in God's mercy for those who seek him. Wow. 
Any thoughts? Mm. Sure, it's quite a powerful reading. The last, um, so this was supposed to be from 21 to 30, you read up to 29. And the Did last, I? last line, um, verse 30 says, even as he spoke, many put their faith in him. Oh yes, I missed that. And I feel like right now, in this pandemic that has affected everyone around this, the world, every Every, practically every country on the planet mm. has been affected and people have been affected everywhere you look. Um, I feel like God is speaking to us, his people, no matter where you are. And I, for me, I, my prayer is that as we go through this pandemic crisis and as we, we believe in him, turn to him in prayer, that we pray that those who don't believe in God, that don't believe in Jesus, hear his voice, hears him as he speaks to them through this crisis and that they too put their faith in him. So I got a message today uh, from one of our clients mm. and he described the, the word COVID, COVID-19 in a different way. And everybody's been using it as a, a pandemic and everybody's mm. been, you know, using this word as, as such a disaster and stuff like that. But he sent it to me and it said, and it said, COVID, Christ, our victory in disease, Christ, our victory in disaster, or death, or, or death, depression, or depression, or doom, or, doom, or, dilemma, or dilemma, or darkness, mm, disease. disease. Christ is there in all of it. And yet, Sometimes we forget that he is he is there talking to us, but yet he's also warning us mm. that judgment is coming, and that we need to get on board mm. and sometimes you can take that verse and say, oh, "You know what I don't need Christ or I don't need people in my lives or and I look at the cross, and that's what he said. Look at the cross. The cross is a vertical and a horizontal. Now, the vertical is the relationship between you and God. And the horizontal is the relationship between you and others. And that relationship just grows in strength on the cross. And Jesus died for us. He died for our sins. And everybody's sins. There is no one mm. except Jesus that is without sin. And yesterday's reading, he drew the line in the sand. And today he shows us the cross. So today we ask that each one of us look at ourselves. And we look at our sin. And we look at the things that we do. And we ask God to, to heal us. And we ask God for maybe just to say sorry for the things that we have done. And we also ask that we thank Him for dying on the cross for us, even if you don't even realize what it is. We just say thank you. And then we say sorry. And then we say, Lord, please come into our lives. Mm. Come and be part of our lives. Come and be part of each and every one of us through the power of your Holy Spirit. And we pray that in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Shall we pray? Yeah. Suffering Christ, strengthen my belief in your redeeming work on the cross. Let me not turn from... Let me not turn from evil in the world or, rash, or rationalize my own sinful behavior, but look at you and live. Mm -hmm. So, Father, today we thank you for your amazing love. We thank you for always being there. We thank you that in this time of need, 
we can give all glory to you. We can lift you up, Papa, Abba. We can confess, we can confess our sins and all the things that we do wrong. We thank you for, your, for dying on the cross and we thank you for the blessing of your Holy Spirit. Thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for wisdom, knowledge, understanding. We ask that you take away our fear, take away our pride. And as the word said, COVID, Christ, our victory in disease, disaster, darkness, depression, whatever it is. Name it with a D. And Father, we thank you today. Lord, we pray for all those that today can come into a faith with you, come into a relationship with you. We pray for our church. We pray for our company. We pray for our country. We pray for around the world. We pray for families and all those in need of you, Lord. And we just say, come, Holy Spirit, come. Come and renew the face of the earth. In Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Goodbye.